Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fusion Industry Association. My name is Alexander Bazzotti. I'm an environmental scientist, and I'm here to present the Fusion News Update for June 12th, 2024. I have five stories for you this week. One, White House forges deals with Fusion pioneers. Two, UKAEA renews engineering framework agreement to boost Fusion. Three, Star Wars lasers and waterfalls of molten salt. How Eximer plans to make fusion power happen. Four, AI-powered fusion, the key to limitless clean energy. Five, D3D San Diego's nuclear fusion lab is back online after nearly a year. Additionally, I have a bonus story to share with you if you stick around until the end. One, White House forges deals with fusion pioneers. The Department of Energy has reached grant agreements with eight pioneering fusion technology companies after a year of negotiations. These grants mark the first round in a congressionally authorized milestone-based fusion development program. With an initial $46 million allocated to support these companies in developing pilot plants that aim to demonstrate the commercial viability of fusion. The announcement coincided with a conference at the White House celebrating the second anniversary of President Joe Biden's decadal vision for developing fusion power. DOE Deputy Secretary David Turk emphasized the need to build on recent breakthroughs in fusion research, stressing the urgency to advance fusion technology swiftly. The new long-term fusion strategy document published by DOE outlines the steps needed to maintain this momentum. The eight companies involved in this program are all FIA members and benefit from strong connections within the extensive research and scientific community dedicated to fusion science for over 50 years. These startups have responded to high-level studies recommending DOE support for developing fusion pilot plants to ensure the U.S. remains competitive with global fusion programs. Additionally, DOE announced the Fusion Innovation Research Engine, a program designed to bridge the gap between laboratory breakthroughs and commercial fusion development, and to bolster U.S.-based manufacturing and supply chains. Although Congress authorized nearly $500 million over five years for the milestone program, only $90 million has been appropriated so far, as noted by Andrew Holland, CEO of the Fusion Industry Association. Rep. Don Beyer, co-chair of the Bipartisan Congressional Fusion Energy Caucus, assured the conference attendees of his commitment to securing as much funding as possible for the program. 2. UKAEA renews engineering framework agreement to boost fusion. In a recent press release, the UK Atomic Energy Authority, or the UKAEA, announced the renewal of its multi-million pound engineering design services framework with nine companies. This four-year extension valued up to nine million pounds aims to bolster the UK's industrial supply chain capability by fostering close collaboration between UKAEA and the selected companies as they advance fusion energy research. Colette Broadwith, strategic procurement business partner for UKAEA, highlighted the framework's role in enabling efficient and collaborative work with the fusion supply chain, thus preparing and accelerating the commercialization of fusion energy. The renewed framework continues to support mechanical process systems and electrical engineering, as well as computer-based modeling and specialist nuclear services. Over the past four years, significant advancements have been made in several key areas. These include the development of tritium transport and parametric breeder blanket modeling for the spherical tokamak for energy production or STEP, verification of in-vessel component prototypes and corrosion experiments and coolant flow loops, and the creation of optimized breeder blanket concepts. Additionally, preliminary designs for jets, graphite processing system, and diverter coil cutting systems have been completed and a Fusion Innovation Challenge pilot project was launched to tackle complex fusion energy challenges. Three, Star Wars lasers and waterfalls of molten soul, how Eximer plans to make fusion power happen. In an exciting development in the fusion industry, Eximer Energy, a startup founded by MIT roommates Connor Galloway and Alexander Vallis, is making strides towards commercial scale fusion power. Inspired by the National Ignition Facility, Breakthrough in August 2021, Galloway and Valleys saw that this as a turning point, and so they launched Eximer Energy in early 2022 with a mission to develop a fusion power plant capable of providing economical and large-scale energy. 
Ximmer is focusing on inertial confinement fusion, the same technique used by the National Ignition Facility. This method involves firing a laser at a small fuel pellet to compress and heat it until its deuterium and tritium atoms fuse, releasing enormous energy. And additionally, a key thing to note is that many inertial confinement designs propose targeting multiple fuel pellets per second with lasers, but Ximmer's approach is to fire at a single pellet every few seconds. Ximmer is innovating with a new laser design, which is based on research performed by the 1980s Strategic Defense Initiative, sometimes called Star Wars, and they are aiming for 10 megajoules of power, which is more than NIF's 2 megajoules, while also planning to be cheaper to build and operate. Another notable aspect of Ximmer's design is its reactor, where fusion explosions will occur inside a waterfall of molten salt rather than a steel wall chamber. This molten salt will absorb the energy, generate steam to power turbines, and protect the reactor walls, potentially extending the reactor's lifespan to 30 years without wall replacements. Ximmer has ambitious plans with a 10-year timeline to build a pilot plant. In the next two years, the company will focus on construction, constructing a demonstration-scale version of its laser system, dubbed Phoenix, to prove its cost-saving capabilities. To support this phase, Ximmer has raised $100 million in a Series A funding round led by Hedo Sofia with contributions from Breakthrough Energy Ventures and others, plus a $9 million grant from the Department of Energy. Galloway and Valleys are confident in their approach, emphasizing that the science is proven and it's now about, as Galloway said, a matter of building a big enough laser, cheap enough laser, and efficient enough laser. 4. AI-Powered Fusion the key to limitless clean energy. Researchers at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, or PPPL, are utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning to advance fusion energy production by tackling the complexities of controlling plasma reactions. These innovations optimize the design and operation of containment vessels and use AI to predict and manage instabilities, significantly improving the safety and efficiency of fusion reactions. Machine learning, a form of AI that can analyze data, and for relationships and adapt is being employed at PPPL to enhance various aspects of fusion reactors like stellarators and tokamaks. This technology is already yielding significant results with researchers using machine learning to avoid magnetic disruptions that destabilize fusion plasma. These achievements have been demonstrated on two different tokamaks, D3D and K-Star, achieving stable high confinement mode or H mode necessary for commercial power generation. Egemund Coleman, associate professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering said, there are instabilities in plasma that can lead to severe damage to the fusion device. We can have those in a commercial fusion vessel. Our work advances the field and shows that artificial intelligence could play an important role in managing fusion reactions going forward, avoiding instabilities while allowing the plasma to generate as much fusion energy as possible. AI systems at PPPL can make rapid decisions to maintain plasma stability, predicting disruptions, and adjusting settings before instabilities even occur. This capability is crucial for ensuring commercial fusion vessels remain stable and efficient in the future. Five, D3D. San Diego's nuclear fusion lab is back online after nearly a year. After an eight month hiatus for upgrades, the D3D National Fusion Facility in San Diego has resumed operations. Located at the General Atomics campus, D3D is a Department of Energy Office of Science user facility where researchers from numerous institutions study fusion technology. The recent upgrades provide new capabilities and enhancements for investigating fusion energy, supporting both commercial industry applications and foundational scientific research, including contributions to the EDA project. Now to highlight some of the key upgrades to the facility, they include enhanced plasma controls, new diagnostics, enhanced heating and current drive, and diverter upgrades. D3D Director Richard Buttery emphasized the importance of these upgrades in a statement, noting that the new tools will enable scientists to answer key questions relevant to commercial fusion technology, materials, and operations. The facility's improvements will also support ITER and advance the scientific understanding needed for future fusion power plants. With these upgrades, D3D continues to be a leading facility in fusion research, hosting over 700 researchers from more than 100 institutions worldwide. The resumption of experiments in May marks a critical step forward in the global pursuit of clean, reliable fusion energy. And now I have a bonus story for you. YouTube video, Eater Private Sector Fusion Workshop. 
The bonus story is a video highlighting clips from the Private Sector Fusion Workshop and Worksite Tour and a few comments from various people, including our very own FIA CEO, Andrew Hall. That is all for Fusion News this week. I truly hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like this video, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe if you have not already done so. Thank you so much for watching again, and have a great rest of your week.